Um, mate, getting onto new, your nutrition, this is probably very boring for you. You probably get asked this question 200 times every week. Tell us, tell us um, a day's intake of food. I, I, would, I would say that um, on a daily rundown when I'm home, um, would normally consist of uh, turkey and chicken as my main base of, of food, uh, meals, and that probably would be about three to four meals on that a day. I like to have one meal of salmon and one meal of steak, and then the, the, the majority of meal, the meals will be made up of eggs. Um, I also discovered like this year, um, after, after the last year, the tail end of last year, that I, I had uh, um, a major amount of food allergies, and I never realized that um, well, I, I went through every prep, every prep with the same issue, stomach pains, um, and, and the old school mentality of sucking it up, you know, coming from a, a coal mine in Steel Town, that is the, uh, that is the traditional, like, if, uh, you know, if your limb is not hanging off, suck it up. So, um, that was with my case. So, after the Olympia, you know, my, my, my wonderful fiance, she's an RD, so she's like, okay, listen, we're going to get some food allergy tests. We've done, we've done westernized medicine, now let's try some easternized medicine. When the westernized medicine couldn't pick up on anything, and she was like, this is definitely something, let's do these food allergies. So, we found out that uh, a lot of the food that I prepped on for the, the, the number of years I've been a, a bodybuilder, I was allergic to. So, um, can you tell us what they are? Is it the gluten? Is it oatmeal? What is it? Yes, yeah, gluten, uh, oatmeal. Um, I was allergic to certain rice. Um, egg whites also has given me some issues. So now I can only eat a certain amount of, of egg whites. Um, there's a limitations to what I can eat, and then it's certain things that I can eat. For example, the number one thing that I cannot eat at all is mustard. And believe it or not, mustard was on nearly every one of my meals because it was one of them, them things that had very little calories in it. And I'd put it on there with my, my traditional tomato ketchup, mix it up, especially come close to the show. Um, and, and, and I found that that was the number one common, uh, so the number one thing that, that the, the doctor said, okay, mustard, mustard, see, X. And the other thing was uh, everything is gluten free now or to a certain, um, you know, I have to actually monitor a lot of my gluten intake. So a lot of breads have gone out the window in the off season. Um, so it makes traveling a lot harder. Now when I'm home, of course, I'm in the control environment. I can purchase my food. But when I'm on the road, you know, the ability of, of purchasing food, uh, going to a restaurant and ordering a certain style without the seasonings, without this and that, you know, it's, it's made a little bit, little bit harder. But, you know, uh, if, if you want to be the number one, you have to, you have to find, you know, uh, ways of going through every big mountain. So that's just uh, another way now of uh, me, uh, you know, not walking around it. I'm going to pull through, pull, pull through bulldoze right through the mountain so uh, the uh, the new foods that I'm doing right now have been amazing you know I've, I've been ingesting a lot of couscous quinoa a lot of things I've never eaten on a regular basis but my oh, my digestive tract has been phenomenal and um, I've been enjoying the whole process now in the la in the sh in the short period of time I've been eating it so uh, and, and for, for also to pick up on a, on the tail end of that my off season unfortunately doesn't exist anymore because I am at the top end of the weight. I weighed in last year's Olympia at 211. The year before that, I was 210. So as you can see, my my prep now is all about refinement. So yes, I want to make improvements in a certain area, but I've also got to refine that, that physique. So um, my numbers are climbing up. So my prep really doesn't start until June. So what I do is when I'm on the road, I maintain. I, I try and eat about five to six meals a day, five good meals a day. And um, you know, with all the time changes and everything else, it actually helps my body stay at a at a, at a certain level. All the traveling, believe it or not. So, if I was at the lighter body weight, and you know, in the 180s, 190s, this would be a, a tremendous fight. But then, if if you can remember, you know, many years ago, I was still doing tremendous amount of traveling and staking, making gains whilst I was on the road. So now it's flip flop. But um, I'm using the travel as a benefit to keep low and then keep lean and, and, and promote the sport around the world. And then obviously when come June, I put my foot, foot down and, and, and I start my off season. I go up about 10 to 15 pounds in weight and then I come back down just before the Olympia.